Hi and welcome all you crazy people. I would like to show you today how to use mid-side processors without the need to buy any, because any standard tool like a compressor or a Q can be used in mid-side in Pro Tools with a few little tricks. Um, let's get started on a stereo um, audio channel. And for today I would like to use um, a signal generator in a pink noise mode because it gives us a very predictable test signal where the shape on our stereometer is as high as is white. In other words, the mid ch channel is exactly as loud as the side channel, which relates to a correlation of zero or a relative phase angle of 90 degree between left and right. Let's get started. We first have to turn our stereo signal into um, a mid and a side signal. And step one for this is to monosum um, via stereo aux uh, which now carries the same signal and from here we route it through another audio track which this time around is a mono aux which I call the mid signal. By taking a stereo signal um, into a mono output we simply mono sum the two signals which now means the mono sum of the two appears here and we can nicely see this on our master meter. This is the master meter by the way, this is the source meter over here. Um, that we now have a mono signal. In addition, I hold on control, we need another track and we do the same thing again first with the stereo aux which I now call the difference and the difference is exactly the same thing as the sum with the only difference that we first need to turn the face on the right hand side for which I use trim plugin in multi mono and on the right hand side I will turn the face before I again mono sum it thus cancelling the mid channel entirely and what remains will be only the side channel Okay, let's follow it up. I would like to probably move the side channel next to my mid channel. And if everything goes as planned, we should now see that um, the pan pots, if I pan it mono, should increase the signal on the mid channel and reduce the signal on the side channel. And if I bring it back to full uh, position, all the way out, mid and side would be equally loud. So at this point, what we have on the mid and side channel is the equivalent of what a mid-side microphone technique would uh, record. By itself, this is not stereo, so we have to build ourselves another matrix. In this uh, case, I would route the side signal through stereo aux again, which I call S plus slash S minus, because it's the positive side and the negative side. The negative side is simply copy the trim plugin over, which turns the face on the right hand side again. And if we look at our stereo meter over here, we now have a perfect stereo image again at the output. So let's simulate this one more time. If I mono sum the source, we can now see at the master how the stereo image changes. Um, and we can also see across the mid and side channel how we lose the side signal if we mono sum disappears entirely, only the mid remains, which now means I can um, assign a plugin of any nature across my uh, mid channel. For example, my all time favorite field chart 660, which immediately uh, changes level. You can see the shape changing. The mid signal just got a little bit louder, so let's just drop the threshold a little. Yeah, got about 3 dBs of gain reduction, that's why it sounds best. And if you wanted to, you could choose a different processor on the side channel. Let's say the good old C1 and uh, compress the side channel um, at uh, a different ratio. In this case, that's using a lot of level, of course. This uh, is obviously a bit of a rough setting here, and that would be, needs to be fine adjusted. So, and then we can also balance the width of the signal uh, by balancing mid and side against one another. Good, let's give this a test. Let me just turn the uh, signal generator off and let's play some music. So out of this audio track now comes a production by a local artist by the name of Jesse Morris. Warmly regarded, spectacular artist. Let's give it a try. Here's the audio coming through. By pulling the side channel, we can now hear uh, Jesse Morris monosound. Or if you want to listen to this side channel, we pull the mid 
and now we can get this beautiful out of face sensation. If you've got stereo headphones on, you should have heard that sounded quite unpleasant. Good, this said, we are now free to use our processors in any way we want. We could now, uh, for example, there's way too much gain reduction here for my liking. We could now start to process the mid channel differently to the side. Okay, now that we're done with this, uh, I would like to show you an even better or faster way. So let's just quickly undo all of this. Like and make inactive. So all of this is gone. We're going back to uh, the source channel from the Morris and we're back to the master output. Do we have signal there? Yep, all good. Okay, so a different possibility to do something very similar is to use a plugin, which is for free, by a, by a manufacturer by the name of Voxengo. The MSAD is a mid-side processor, which allows you to temporarily mute either the uh, mid signal or the side signal. And therefore we should, um, there we go. There's not much going on on that channel. Good. Um, so this tool can also be used uh, as an encoder or decoder. So if we decode our stereo signal from here into... This doesn't seem to be working. Okay, let's just stop here for a second. A little mistake of mind, I'm sure. Let's get our signal generator back and investigate. That's all as planned. Let's add the MCD. And muting the side would give us a mono signal. Yep, there we go. I think I used a multi mono by accident. Well, I should have used the stereo one in the first place. My apologies. So we turn this plugin into decode mode, which means it will receive in left and right and it will output mid and side. Mid will then appear on the left channel and side on the right. If I make a copy of this plugin, to open the copy, here's the copy now, you can set this to decode mode, which will then turn it back into stereo. That means between this and that plugin over here, in between is the left channel as mid and the right channel as side. And now we can use any multi-mono plugin of our liking, for example in standard EQ, that is usually not mid-side, and by unlinking the left and right channel, we can now EQ the, these two sides separately. And let's say reduce bottom end from the side channel, make it a bit more sparkly. I love my cues really nice and wide. While on the mid channel, which is on the left, we might actually increase the bass slightly to compensate for what we lost in the side channel. Maybe give it a touch of clarity for the vocals at one and a half. Yep, that should probably do for now. And this is a typical way to process a signal. Good, let's turn the signal generator off and give it a shot with uh, some music. Just to demonstrate, I now simply mute the outputs. So we mute the left side of the EQ, which kills the mid signal and the side remains. And if we were to work on the right hand side, and I put that, we would kill the side signal and the mid signal remains. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Mid-side processing made easy, easy, either using a bit of routing or on my all-time favorite MSED, a very handy tool. And thanks to Pro Tools and multi mono plugins, you can use any plugin of your liking as a mid-side processor. Thank you very much. Hope you had a bit of fun. See you next time.